Diane, as, you, as you're aware, there's been a, a terrific shortage in both containers used in maritime and ocean shipping, as well as intermodal in the continental U.S., and trailers. And uh, we don't see those shortages being solved anytime soon. Uh, they're acute. We've got carriers of all sizes and types who are searching desperately for trailers. The manufacturers are not keeping up, can't keep up. And the age of that trailer fleet is, uh, is, is quite cumbersome. So, um, you know, we don't see a, 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 a correction there for quite some time. Uh, it's impacting uh, the, the transfer of goods for sure. And uh, once again, I'm not, I'm not sure how we'll, uh, or when we'll solve that problem. Probably, it looks to me, based on my discussions with different carriers, that we're probably talking late 21 to mid 22 before we're able to address that uh, favorably. Well, and that really underscores, you know, the issues that we've seen in the global supply chain as well. As you know, we've seen container shortages around the world, and many of the containers that are used for shipping, of course, are produced in China. And we found that it's just much easier to turn off the lights on a plant than ramp them back up again, especially in a world where we're managing co the COVID virus still, not necessarily eradicating it as we had hoped. That has also changed the dynamics and put even more pressure on supply shortages and not being able to ramp up production fast enough. I think the other issue is that we're going to have to be looking at going forward is what kind of investments can um, trucking and transportation industry more broadly make in terms of digitizing, in terms of increasing productivity growth of existing, what they have in existing fleets and existing containers. And that's really tough to do when you've got perhaps at one point in time a, a, a container abroad that you're waiting, that's stranded in another country empty right now and trying to get it back. But as we get this stuff moving again, we are talking about a pivoting of production, you know, a pivoting of demand away from goods back into services, but it's not as if the good side of it's going to disappear. And so what really I think the focus is going to be on going forward is that last mile, getting um, the goods to the consumer in the last mile of transportation. And that's going to be really interesting. I've seen some major retailers and some larger um, uh, providers out there uh, in terms of goods providers look at their distribution and what's been interesting as well and this kind of changes that could change the dynamics for the broader transportation industry is they've realized it's cheaper to actually ship or have direct pickup at an actual retail store than it is at a warehouse which is something that also could be another you know hook for the industry or, or a change for the industry as they start shipping more directly to stores instead of just a warehousing in the distribution centers. That is sort of a, the next phase of this as we move towards a more open economy, one that we don't worry about contagion quite as much as we did.